ways that you can get to the Notepad document. You can right click, choose New, and choose Text Document, but you'll want to highlight it and change it to a web page format. So you'll type your last name, underscore, page one dot html. It will prompt you because you're changing the name extension, just say yes. The second way is by going to Start, All Programs, Accessories, Notepad. Then do File, Save As, and click on the down arrow, All Files, so that you're not just saving as the default text format, and type your last name, underscore, page one, dot html. You'll want to note where you save it so that you can get to it easily when it comes time to submit for grading. Click Save and you'll know it's correct because it will have .html. Once we've got our notepad document in place, we're ready to set up our framework. Our first step is to tell the computer what programming language we'll be using. For this class, we're going to use the programming language HTML. You might be surprised at how easy it is to use. HTML uses opening and closing tags to talk to the computer. All tags have opening and closing brackets. Our opening HTML tag will look like this. Bracket, HTML, closing bracket. This tells the computer, from here forward, we will be programming using the language HTML. Go ahead and hit return a couple of times and enter the closing bracket. And in this case, it is bracket forward slash HTML closing bracket. The forward slash tells the computer that we're done using the language HTML. All of the information that we're going to enter from here forward is between the opening and closing HTML tags. A web page is divided into two parts, the head and the body. The head contains the title of a page, page description, and descriptive words called metadata. The only part that appears is the page title. The body of the page is where you enter information you want people to see. I bet you can guess what the head and body tags look like. H E A D closing bracket forward slash H E A D closing bracket. Let's do the body tag B O D Y closing bracket and with a forward slash. For the purposes of this class, I'm going to go ahead and make a few extra entries, basically so that we can see things a little easier. Some web designers adjust their entries as well, so that as they're reading through things, it's easier for them. The computer doesn't care. It's simply for our benefit. The title of the page goes in the head, like we mentioned before. So we'll put that between the two head tags. G-I-T-L-E, closing bracket, and forward slash T-I-T-L-E, closing bracket. I'm going to go ahead and move it an extra few spaces so that we can see it. Text that I want to appear goes between the opening and closing tags. For this assignment, I'd like to, you to use your name and then first web page. In my case, it would be Robin's first web page. But of course, your name would be instead of mine. Now let's focus on the body area of the page. Just below the opening body tag, I would like you to type H3 with an opening and closing bracket. The letter H stands for header and the number indicates what size type the header should be. Header text is generally larger than regular size. 
when you have an opportunity, I encourage you to try using a H1 instead of H3 and see what it looks like. Uh, but don't forget to change it back to H3 before you submit it for grading. Go ahead and type in your name and then type a closing bracket. Oops. There we go. On a new line, I would like you to type bracket HR closing bracket. And what that does is it puts a horizontal rule or a horizontal line across your page. I'm going to go ahead and move this in and this in so that you can see them a little bit better. And on a new line, I would like you to type a B with an opening and closing bracket. And of course, a closing B. I bet you can guess what that stands for. The letter B stands for bold type. You're telling the computer when to start and when to stop making type bold. In between the opening and closing tags for the B, I would like you to type my list of classes. Below that, go ahead and enter another line or two. I would like you to enter OL. OL stands for ordered list. So it's a it, it it's the tags for telling the computer to put line items or individual lines of numbered text. One, two, three, etc., etc. So we're going to tell it that we're going to create an ordered list and then at the conclusion of it we're going to finish our ordered list and in between these two brackets we're going to put lines of type, line items they're called. You have to tell the computer when that line of information starts and when that line of information stops. So I start my line item just under my opening ordered list tag and then I type my text and it has to do with my list of classes so I'm going to go ahead and type in science and another one I have math and writing and I'm going to pull this back up and I'm going to go ahead and move this in so that we have it separated from the rest. We have my list of classes which will, appear, which will be bold and then we have three items so it'll be one, two, three and we have an opening and closing bracket. Below this you're going to repeat, so you're going to copy from this B through the order, the closing ordered list tag. Hold your control key down and C, go to a new line of type and control V. And replace this second my list of classes with hobbies I enjoy. So you still have your my list of classes, you just have a second group of information. And we're going to change our, our ordered list to an unordered list, UL, unordered list. And we're going to ha change our closing tag to unordered list. And now where we had our classes, we're going to put in hobbies. So I enjoy playing guitar. I like salt water fish and I like scuba. I still have the same tags here for each one of these because these are still line items. It's a line of type. This line starts here and ends here. But in this case I'm going to have a bulleted list so one is not more important than the other so it's unordered. 
go ahead and skip a couple of spaces. I'm going to go ahead and tab or space in. And this time we're going to type a P. A P stands for paragraph. And I would like you to enter a paragraph of information. So just a couple of sentences is fine. Let's have you enter information about your career goals when you finish college. Enter information about your career goals after college. When you're done with your paragraph and you have three or four sentences, go ahead and do a closing P. So you have your opening paragraph tag and your closing paragraph tag. And that's it as far as your web page is concerned. Now I'm going to tighten it up a little bit so that you can see the whole thing. I have my opening HTML, my closing HTML, opening head, closing head with my title inside. I have my opening body, my closed body. I have a header, a horizontal rule, I have bolded my list of classes with an ordered list, and I have bolded hobbies I enjoy with an unordered list. When I'm happy and comfortable with what it looks like, I'll make sure I save it. And I'll do Save As. I need to get off of the Text Documents type and click on All Files, because I need to make sure that I save it as a .html file. If you save it as a text file, it won't work right. Make sure you're aware of where you've saved it, because it's easy for it to get lost, and then click Save. Now you can view what it would look like if it were published to the Internet. If you go File, Open, and then you'll locate where you've, cre where you've put it. Click Open, and it will show you what you've created. In this case, I have my header, my ordered list, my unordered list, and my paragraph of information. Now, if your information is all bolded, it means you forgot a closing bracket for one of your bold items. If you have um, your items not listed in a vertical row, then that means that you don't have a closing bracket at one of your line items. So you'll want to go back in and check your code to make sure that it's accurate. When you're happy with the finished product, go ahead and submit it as an attachment for grading.